So what is going on YouTube? My name is Meho and welcome to another React Native tutorial. Let's just continue with our login application. So what we want to do here is basically, you know, enhance this login application a little bit so that doesn't look like crap, which it is right now. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, just include like, uh, let's just say, include some styles here. And to do that, what I'm going to do is just create a styles dot uh, uh, oh, sorry a JS file it's not CSS we are not on web so um, what I want to do is just do an export default of style sheet dot create and uh, basically you need to include the styles style sheet as well first I'm gonna import style sheet from react native and now here we can paste our, our styles and basically customizations which you want to do so i'm going to do like import styles styles from styles and then what we can do is like do um heading input is styles so we can say text style is heading and for inputs we can say it could be like input right so there we are and for the password how to enable you know the dot thing here to do that what you have to do is write um, enable not really secure yeah secure text entry and set it to true it's safe now when you try to write something here it would automatically be parsed as a password and you can see that um, react native natively informs the keyboard as well that this is a password so there are no suggestions at the top right so it's not just it's not just a hack it's it's on native level so um what we can do next is customize this heading a little and say like font size is uh, 25 maybe and we can say text align uh, center and remember react follows react and um, this is the um, ALI G and what the hell so this is the advantage of using the style sheet dot create I believe if you do not use it then you won't get this warning it will be just passed down as a regular object key because you know it's not wrong text algin is not a wrong style sheet it's not a wrong object key but it's not a valid style key so here we are and for the input ones what i can say is like margin left as 20 and margin right as 20 as well and a comma obviously so we are getting somewhere right what we can do is create a button as well so button style button and uh, value what what it is i always forget like it's value or something let's test so so we can just include button here also and see And yeah obviously or we cannot play styles on button because that property is not supported and I believe this was uh, not really value let's see what it was um, title yep so there we are and uh, we have a nice little hello button let's change it to login and there we go so now we can write our username password and hit login nothing really happens right now but we're gonna make it happen so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and in the next one we're gonna proceed onwards and maybe create a different activity a different screen and uh, link them so see you in the next part wait your mission should you choose to accept it is to become awesome by going at codedam.com 
and learning various different things among a community of developers. This video will end in one second. Good luck.